in this video we will compare distinct and unique in sql so distinct means different values regardless how many times it appears in the data set that is distinct uh, does not take into consideration how many number of times a, a value is getting repeated in a column but distinct simply means different values so in sql we use a keyword called as distinct to find distinct values from a column in the table and uh, the syntax is like select and immediately followed by distinct keyword which is followed by the column names which we want to find the distinct from now let me go back to the sql server studio and let us find the distinct before that the table i will be using here is cars the table called as cars and this is the schema for the table uh, the name of the table is cars uh, and we have four columns which are ID, brand, model, and production year. ID is an integer. Brand is a variable character. Model is a variable character. Production year is an integer. I have already created the table. So let me query the table and see the data first. This is the data which I have inserted into the cars table. So we have ID column, brand column, model and production year. Now let us find distinct values from the brand column. See when you see here uh, inside the brand column we have brands like Audi, Ford, Jeep which is repeating two times and Tesla also which is repeating two times. Now let us uh, find which are the distinct brands available in the brand column here it is easy because the table is small but once the data becomes uh, bigger it will be very difficult for us to visually find which are the distinct values now let me write the query to find the distinct value distinct. we'll start with select and the column from which I have to find distinct is brand sorry before that before brand I have to write use the keyword distinct brand from the table cars sorry cars now let me run this query and see what is the result see now you can see from the column the distinct brands are Audi Ford Jeep and Tesla now let me query both the tables and let us compare the result with the original table. So these are the results. Here we can see that even though Jeep is repeating two times, but in the result we got Jeep only one time because the column is the uh, distinct keyword is choosing only which are what are the distinct brand available in the table. Now let us consider a case where we will choose distinct value from two columns now let me write a query to find distinct values from brand and model before that let us examine the data once see when we take brand and model as a combination we have Audi Q7 Ford Kuga Jeep Cherokee Jeep Wrangler Tesla Model Y and the last column is also Tesla Model Y so we have Tesla Model Y repeating two times and all other values are like uh, coming only one time. Let me run the query and see what is the result. Comma. Model. Plus. Now let me run this query and let us see the result. See. Now as you can see we have brand and model which are distinct brand and model from earlier from the result we had Tesla model by repeating two times but in this distinct brand and model result we do not have that repeating two times because when we take distinct values it only have to count one time and all other values are coming as well so this is how we find distinct values in SQL and when the number of columns are increasing or uh, the next thing is if we want to find the distinct value based on production year as well we have to include the third column as production year 
and we have to run the same query that is how we find distinct values in SQL now let us go to unique unique value is the value that appears only one time that is a unique value in a column will be appearing only one time so if a value is repeating two or more times the value won't be considered as unique for that unique keyword is used in SQL but unique keyword is not used similar to distinct keyword because unique we don't use with select but instead unique keyword is called a constraint so the constraint we use when we normally create the table uh, it is an entirely different concept constraints there are like different constraints like not null primary key foreign key then checks uh, that these are like some different constraints that we are using this we can apply uh, to the table or a column basis so that I will explain in another video now uh, understand that unique keyword is not used similar to select so we will use another technique to find unique values from a column in the table now let me go back now let us find unique values let me query the table first and let us examine the table once so unique value means the value which is repeating only one time in the table so if we check the column brand Audi Ford Jeep is repeating two times and Tesla is repeating two times so when we take unique values from the column brand we want result as Audi and Ford because those who are coming only one time and all other brands which are Jeep and Tesla is repeating two times so let us write the query so in order to calculate uh, sorry in order to find unique we will be using count and having clause let me write the query so we want unique value from brand column I'm using count star from the table cars since I'm using an aggregate function I have I will have to use group by clause here group by brand now let us run and see what is the result now uh, let me give a column name as well then it will be easy to understand as brand count again let me run this yes see we, we have got two columns in the result which is one is brand and the other one is brand underscore count so OD is coming only one time in the table Ford is coming only one time Jeep is coming two time and Tesla is coming two times now the result we want is OD and Ford so what we will do is we will put one condition using the having clause having count star equal 1 now let us run this query and see what is the result now we have got the expected result which is OD and Ford this is the result which we want now similar to the previous distinct example I want to find unique values from mo uh, brand and model what I will do is I will modify this query into a query in, a, in the same manner let me copy this query copy and before putting the having clause without having clause let us run and see what is the result and after the brand I am going to add the model as well the all other things are same I am using count star as brand count from cars and grouping by brand comma model because I am using brand and model column with the select clause now let me run this query and let us see what is the result see now you can see brand model uh, column along with brand underscore count we have got and in the result uh, when we check Tesla model Y is repeating two times in the parent table that is why we are getting brand underscore count as one I will change the column name also brand model underscore count okay sorry Yeah, Tesla model why we are getting two times because in the uh, cars base table we are having the Tesla model Y combination two times now similar to the uh, 
previous query where we found unique we only have to put a having close here where we have to tell the count should be equal to 1 that time we will be able to get the unique values such that the result won't be having tesla model y apart from that all the other combinations will be in the result now let us run this query with having and count star equal to 1 now you can see that we have got the result where we have unique brand model combination values from the car table and once we have more number of column we can add more number of column here and in the group by clause and we, we can find the unique and distinct values using the same logic which I have explained here. Thank you.